a not guilty plea today from a man accused of murdering an 87 year old retired doctor in Scripps Ranch. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. The victim, William Dagnan, was found in his backyard at the bottom of a partially empty swimming pool. CBS 8's David Gothardson was in court today for the suspected killer's first appearance. Mr. Smith, your not guilty plea and denial are entered. The public defender is appointed. Jeffrey Smith pleaded not guilty to first degree murder and two counts of violating a restraining order in the death of retired Dr. William Deenan. Police say the 87 year old victim was found by a family member on August 2nd at the bottom of a swimming pool in the backyard of Deenan's Scripps Ranch home on Birch Glen Court. Officers at the scene saw evidence that caused them to believe the death was suspicious, but no cause of death was announced by the prosecutor in court. This is a very a tragic situation. Um, obviously, we're, we feel for the victim and the victim's family right now. The victim had obtained a restraining order against Smith on July 7th, telling the judge he was afraid of Smith and experienced fear of physical harm, verbal abuse, intimidation, mental suffering, and threats of taking the house. The victim had obtained a protective order in this case. Um, the defendant was found in the home um, subsequent of the homicide, and so that would be one of the violations of the protective order. I pulled the restraining order and found that it also included a move out order, so it looks like Smith was living on the property with the victim. In court, the public defender also said Smith is a veteran and the date of the murder, August 2nd, was also the 60th birthday of the alleged killer. The prosecutor said she was comforted by the fact that the judge ordered Smith to be held without bail. Based on the court's ruling today of remaining no bail status, we know he'll remain in custody and that does give us some alleviation. If convicted, Smith is facing 25 years to life in prison. He'll be back in court one week from today. At the downtown courthouse, David Gofferson, CBS 8.